Welcome to the NISD Northside Gifted and Talented Parent Awareness Session for Briscoe Middle School. My name is Mary Cedio and I'm the GT Specialist at Briscoe Middle School. The goal of this presentation is to help you become acquainted with Northside's Gifted and Talented Services. I hope you will find the content of this presentation useful as you ponder whether or not your child would benefit from receiving GT services. TEA, the Texas Education Agency, has created the Texas State Plan for the Gifted and Talented. This document guides our program and service design, and we will refer to it throughout our presentation. When it comes to defining gifted and talented, we follow the state plan's definition. Gifted and talented student means a child or youth who performs at or shows the potential for performing at a remarkably high level of accomplishment when compared to others of the same age, experience, or environment, and who, one, exhibits high performance capability in an intellectual, creative, or artistic area, two, possesses an unusual capacity for leadership, or three, excels in a specific academic field. Northside strives to provide innovative, high quality and diverse learning experiences for all of our students in this ever-changing world. In support of that mission, our GT program aims to provide instructional opportunities that are designed to meet the unique needs of students who have significantly advanced general ability. Our program seeks to provide an, op an appropriately differentiated curriculum in efforts to help students work to their fullest potential. GT services may include a modified delivery of instruction for students through acceleration and or more complex content and activities that offer a greater depth of learning. Giftedness is sometimes a misunderstood concept to both parents and educators. Oftentimes, high achievers are categorized as gifted. However, Gifted individuals sometimes exhibit characteristics that would not be classified as high achieving. In fact, according to the work of George Betts and Maureen Neihart, who have done extensive research on profiling gifted individuals, only two of their six profiles would be considered high achieving and yet they cite an estimated 90% of identified students would be considered as such. What this means is that we are likely overlooking many students who have a different way of learning and looking at the world and who might be benefit from receiving gifted services. It is important that we work to identify all of our gifted students and that we provide opportunities that lead them to become critical thinkers and problem solvers. The first profile, which they call type ones, is the successful learner. These students are achievers. They look like school and teachers assume a gifted student would look, and they are admired by their peers. However, adults often overestimate their abilities because these students are working for the grades. They possess extrinsic motivation and they seek the approvals of others. They do not go beyond what is asked Rather, they accept and conform to what is asked of them. They possess a fear of failure. These students are likely to be referred for and identified to receive GT services. Type twos or creatives are not as likely to be referred for the GT program because they tend to question the rules. They are often bored and frustrated with school and they're likely to let you know what they think, even if they don't express their feelings in very diplomatic ways. Creatives often seek justice, and they have a high sense of, to um, a high sense of justice and tolerance for ambiguity. Traits that many gifted individuals share, but they are not usually considered for the gifted program due to the rebellious tendencies. The type threes are often overlooked because that is exactly what these students want. These are underground learners. They are underachieving students who lack confidence in their abilities. Therefore, they avoid challenge and risk. Sometimes these students will ask not to be tested for the gifted program, even when that's exactly what they truly need. 
Type fours or at-risk learners prefer to pursue interests outside of the classroom. They may have intermittent attendance patterns, and when they are in class, they may appear angry and resentful, maybe even depressed. They may complain about school, and they will often complain about being challenged at school. They tend to resist authority and are very critical of themselves and others. Type fives are our twice or multi-exceptional. There is a lot going on with these students. Often their gifts are overshadowed by a disability. Conversely, they're able to compensate for the weakness due to their strengths. The result is that they, these students receive no interventions or support at all one way or the other, leading to an overall academic poor self-concept. The final profile is known as the autonomous. These type sixes are what most of us as educators strive for with all of our students. They are self-confident, they are intrinsically motivated, resilient, and enthusiastic learners. Like all of the others, though, these students need the support of parents and educators in order to maximize their true potential. We ask that you consider all six of these profiles as you think about your child, keeping in mind that gifted does not necessarily mean high achieving. Now let's talk about the identification process. Northside's identification process begins with a referral. Anyone can actually refer a student for testing. It could be a parent, a teacher, a librarian, a community member, or even the student themselves. Parents and teachers may access the referral form on the NISD Gifted and Talented website. Any previous testing data is helpful, but not required. In Texas, there is not one set standard for identifying students for GT. Therefore, each district sets their own criteria for placement. Once you have given testing consent by completing the referral and checklist process, the Campus GT Specialist, that's me, may move forward with the data collection process. Item 2.22 of the Texas State Plan for the, gifted, the Education of Gifted Students states that both qualitative and quantitative measures must be considered when determining whether or not a student needs GT services. In Northside, the quantitative data includes the MAP test, which stands for Measure of Academic Progress Test which generates a score in both math and reading. The COGAT or Cognitive Abilities Test that elicits three scores from three categories, verbal, quantitative, and nonverbal. Both are nationally normed standardized tests that are administered to students online. A student may be referred for testing each year. However, the COGAT test can only be administered once every two years. I can provide more in-depth information if you would like to know more about any of these tests. One thing to note is that our very diverse district uses campus local norms at the elementary level for placement consideration. Remember that the definition of gifted and talented includes a child or youth who performs at or shows the potential for performing at a remarkably high level of accomplishment when compared to others of the same age, experience or environment. Local norms generated by the district administration of the COGAT allow for within group comparisons. In other words, students are compared against other students at their respective campuses or as opposed to the whole district or even the whole nation. Finally, the qualitative measure includes both a parent and an educator checklist of behavioral characteristics often exhibited by gifted individuals. Final determination of a student's need for gifted and talented services is made by a district screening and identification committee that includes at least three local district or campus educators who have received training in the nature and needs of gifted and talented students and who have met and reviewed the individual student data a balanced examination of all assessment data collected through the district's gifted and talented assessment process is conducted and used by the identification committee in making program placement decisions. 
If a parent disagrees with the committee's decision regarding placement, the parent may appeal the decision. More information can be found in the District Plan for Gifted and Talented Education. There is an entire section of the Texas State Plan dedicated to the professional learning for teachers who work with gifted students. Northside is now a member of Region 20 GT Co-op, and we encourage any NISD teacher to attend GT professional learning courses. Now let's discuss the Middle School GT Innovative Thinkers curriculum. GT students need more than just advanced curriculum. The Innovative Thinkers curriculum is based on the K-12 continuum of skills for gifted learners and 21st century skills. It is designed to put students in the driver's seat with student choice and advocacy, build ownership and responsibility, encourage discovery and productive struggle and challenge gifted learners to push themselves to new limits. Our curriculum also addresses the social emotional learning of the gifted and teaches skills such as collaboration, problem solving, innovative thinking, creativity, public speaking, civil discourse, course, coding, and more. It is important to remember that the GT program in Northside is designed to challenge your students. If your student falls into any of the categories other than the high achieving student or the type six student, the autonomous learner, they may struggle a little bit. It's okay to encourage them that productive struggle is good. It's when they learn the most and it's when they grow the most. And our just gifted students don't always have the chance to be pushed to these levels in their regular classes or even their advanced classes. If you have questions about GT students, the GT identification process, GT testing, or courses for gifted students, please reach out to me, Mary Cedio, your Brisco GT specialist. This has been a general overview as to the process of referral and identification for placement into Northside's gifted and talented programs. I'm a resource for you when it comes to helping you navigate this process. I encourage you to reach out to me if you have any further questions. Thank you.